everyone, it's Macy, and this is my review of Eclipse by Stephanie Myers. To anyone who hasn't seen my other reviews on Twilight and New Moon, I'll give some personal context. It took until I was 20 years old to finally watch the Twilight movies and read the first two books. Growing up, I claimed to hate Twilight, even though I knew almost nothing about it. I blame the media and how it was advertised. Also the fact that society hates on anything that's marketed towards teenage girls. A few weeks ago I finally decided to watch all the movies, and I read the first two books. My reviews for Twilight and New Moon are already up on this channel, so if you want to check those out those will be linked down below. So now, with all that being said, this is my review of Eclipse. This book was so frustrating. Like, to the point that at some points I was literally yelling at it for some of the decisions that the characters were making. It was mostly frustration towards uh, Edward and Jacob. Like, these boys really just needed to chill out. They just needed to let Bella do what she wanted and to stop being so controlling. Edward especially was really frustrating to me in the beginning because he just wouldn't let Bella see Jacob. Just out of pure jealousy. Like, yeah, he was concerned for her well-being, but mostly it was jealousy. He literally made it so that her truck wouldn't work so she was trapped at her house like a prisoner. Because I was so mad at Edward in the beginning, when Jacob confronts him in front of the school about lying to Bella about Victoria. I found it so entertaining. I was like living for the drama. I was like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? Are they gonna fight? I was like the other students watching and like just waiting for something to happen. Like it sounds weird. Because I was so mad at Edward, I kind of enjoyed the part when Jacob was like just remembering. Jacob was hurting Edward just because he was remembering how sad Bella was. Like Jake says here, and I thought he ought to get a look at what he'd done. I love that. It made me almost giddy when Jacob kidnapped Bella from school. So at this point, if you couldn't tell, I was still Team Jacob. Still, that was before he got mad at her, but we will get to that. At this point in the beginning, Jacob was still frustrating, but at least Bella was happy when she was around him. Because when she was around Edward, she was just angry and frustrated, which I don't blame her. At this point in the book, Edward was just being a drama queen, and Jacob was being bearable. So when Jake got really mad at Bella, uh, when he found out how soon she wanted to be changed right after graduation, was kind of the beginning of the end for me for supporting him. Another big game changer for me was Edward's change in attitude. It started with my favorite part of this entire book. When Jacob got mad at her and Bella left from the push and Edward had just come home from hunting, that chapter was so good. Like the entire exchange between Bella and Edward had me literally swooning for Edward. It was so romantic. And then on top of that, his attitude changed completely. He actually let loose a little bit and actually apologized to Bella. And it was just really understanding about everything. His attitude for the rest of the book was great. At one point in my notes, I wrote, Stan Edward, he is forgiven for everything he's ever done to Bella. He drinks respect lemon juice. <laughs> Chapter 20 killed me and it solidified my switch from Team Jacob to Team Edward. Like when he proposed to her, I'm not gonna lie when I say that I got teary eyed. So fast forward a little bit. Edward is literally just a blessing. The fact that he wasn't even slightly mad at Bella for making out with Jacob is insane to me. Bella has a lot of nicknames throughout the series, but my two favorites are when Edward calls her love and when Jacob calls her Bells. I thought it was really funny when Bella called out Jake for being shirtless all the time, but I did also like it because it gave some explanation as to why they're always shirtless. <laughs> all right, this is a slight rant, but Jacob is the worst now. Like, he could not take a hint to save his life. Like, he could not take a hint that Bella doesn't love him any more than a friend. But to quote Bella here, I mean, friendship doesn't always seem to be enough for Jacob. Like, she rejected him and he still kissed her and it was nasty. It was described so gross because Bella thought it was gross. She was so uncomfortable. I felt so bad for her and I'm so happy she punched him in the face. He deserved it. Jacob is so manipulative, it's sickening. I was so mad after the first kiss, I wanted nothing more than for Edward to just beat the crap out of Jacob. Oh, and Bella's quote when she says, I punched a werewolf in the face is so iconic. I think it's so funny that Bella openly admits to liking Jacob more as a wolf. And it's because he can't talk in wolf form. Oh, the thing I hate most of, out of all of this is that Jacob stops calling her by her cute nickname, Bells, and starts referring to her as Honey. 
It makes me physically cringe. Like, that's so nasty. Also, the second kiss that Jacob and Bella have is literally the weirdest thing that I've ever read in my life. Like, it wasn't as gross as the first one, but it was still not pleasant. Like, she was completely unresponsive until the last part of the kiss. And she still basically forced herself to give in to him. Jacob manipulated her into doing it. He guilt-tripped her. Jacob's character really just took a turn for the worst, and that's really sad because I really liked him. I can understand why Charlie is Team Jacob. He really just wants what he thinks is best for Bella, which is understandable. Charlie really is the best. Like this conversation between him and Bella in the car. Bella says, I thought you were on Jacob's side. And Charlie responds with, no matter what side I'm on, if someone kisses you without your permission, you should be able to make your feelings clear without hurting yourself. In response to her wanting to throw a punch. You didn't keep your thumb inside your fist, did you? No, Dad, that's kind of a, that's kind of sweet in a weird way, but I don't think lessons would have helped Jacob's head is really hard. Charlie laughed. Hit him in the gut next time. I don't know, I just love that even though like Charlie does support Jacob, he still stands up for his daughter and knows what's best. I really liked Angela. I'm glad Bella got to experience some normal girl time away from the craziness that is her world. In my notes, I wrote, I would die for Seth in all capital letters. Seth and Edward fist bumping at the end of their fight was the cutest thing I'd ever read. I thought my heart was gonna explode. So something I really noticed is that this book is paced really weird. I found it a lot harder to read than the other two. Like, don't get me wrong though, I enjoyed most of the book up until about the end. So after I finished reading the book, I watched the movie again to compare the two. So Edward and Jacob are way more bearable in the movie. Like, I didn't want to rip their heads off constantly. Also, the movie is so disjointed compared to the book. Like, it gets the point across. There's a lot more of the villains in the movie than in the book, and I really enjoyed that though. I guess it's just the timeline that kind of stood out to me the most. Things happen way out of order than they did in the book. And all my favorite parts aren't even in there. The movie was okay, but it wasn't the best. I think this is my least favorite so far. Don't get me wrong, I still really enjoyed reading this. I just don't like it as much as the other two. So there you have it, that is my review of Eclipse. If you like this video, then please leave a like. And if you wanna see more of my face in the future and the reviews for the rest of the series, then please feel free to subscribe down below. All of my social media will also be linked as well as all of the other reviews for the other books in the series. Again, Twilight and New Moon are already up on my channel and linked down below. Thank you so much again for watching this video. Bye!